maybe i really should get bangs to hide my giant forehead hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here please don't forget to subscribe and if you're already subscribed thank you for always coming back so i just filmed this look it's obviously super crazy and like out there i don't know where you can possibly wear this and go out probably nowhere but sometimes i like to dress up before doing my laundry and that's what this is because i'm actually going to go and do my laundry and then do my dishes so not a very like practical look practical look come on let's be honest like how many of you all actually go out wearing hot pink eye shadow but i still wanted to do this i hope you guys just enjoy watching this and yeah let's get started As usual, I've already moisturized my skin. I'm gonna start off by doing my eyebrows because I just want this look to have a really defined eyebrow. So that way I can do my eyebrows and then just clean up around it. I'm using my favorite Anastasia Brow Promade and uh, going to do my eyebrows a little darker and thicker than I would do usually. It does look a bit too harsh, but it's gonna be fine once I, you know, clean up around my eyebrows. And also this video features uh, some of my mediocre editing skills like this. Then I'm just gonna take some good old hairspray, spray it on a spoolie and comb through my eyebrows. If you haven't tried this trick, all I wanna say is that you're really really missing out on something. Now that the eyebrows are set and not going anywhere, I'm gonna start cleaning up around my eyebrows. For that, I'm gonna be using the LA Girl Pro Concealer. I'm gonna start off by taking a little bit on a flat brush. If you are someone who's struggling uh, with you know filling in your eyebrows or if you just want to like up your eyebrow game I highly suggest doing this you can just fill them in like however you want and then just clean around using just your foundation and trust me it is going to make your life a lot easier. And I'm just going to apply the same concealer on my eyelids as well as a base. Now moving on to the eye makeup, I want to do a really nice colourful eye look. So for that, I'm going to be using a palette from Makeup Revolution. It's called the Birds of Paradise and it's absolutely amazing. So if you are looking for a palette with a lot of like crazy colours but don't want to spend a lot, this one's amazing. Also, NYX has a really nice uh, colourful palette as well. But yeah, I'm going to be using this palette. Before starting off with the eyeshadow, I'm just going to set my eyelids lightly. I'm going to start off by working this yellow shade into my crease. Even though there's only a 10 second long footage of me blending in eye shadows in this video, I just wanted to tell in reality it takes a lot more time. Now I'm going to take this nice orange shade and start working it into my crease. Now I'm going to take this nice hot pink color and start packing it into my eyelids. Fallout is crazy and that's why I didn't do my face at first. So if anyone out there is feeling like their eyeshadow is not looking great, just keep blending and you will get there. It takes a lot more time than you see in these videos. And the below average editing skills return. Using that bottom right white shadow to highlight my brow bone. Now I need to clean up my face because of the crazy crazy fallout and that's absolutely normal like when you're working with really really bright colours, fallout is like you can't avoid it. So that's why just don't do your face first. For concealer, I'm going to be using Born to Glow by NYX. While blending out the concealer, just make sure not to like mess up that nice angle that we made with the eyeshadow. For foundation, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Mattifying Infallible Foundation. Now I'm going to set my face using the Makeup Revolution Baking Powder in Banana. Now I'm going to use this NYX Matte Bronzer to lightly contour my face. I'm keeping the contour really high and like away from the mid region. That's just going to create a more like elongated and like 
you know upwards thing that's going around for blush i'm going to be using this one from nyx in a really nice orangey shade same thing with the blush i'm going to keep it really high and like away from the middle of our face it's really hard for me to not put blush on the uh, apples of my cheeks and on my nose and my chin but i'm going to like physically stop myself now the lower lash and i'm going to use that nice dark orange shade and blend it out using the pink shade you guys for the first time i tried to put on fake lashes on camera and it started out really like poised and calm and then i panicked as usual when it was not going great and here's actual footage of how long it takes for me to like put on lashes in like fast motion or like i don't know yeah i think that's what you call it and it still wasn't that great it's okay i tried okay i tried now we can whisk off this loose powder from our face now some mascara on our lower lashes I also went ahead and lined my waterline using a cream colored pencil. Moving on to the final part of the look, I'm going to apply my most hottest pinkest lipstick and that's all fired up from MAC. This shade is also from MAC's Retro Matte range just like Ruby Woo, so all the steps I followed in my red lip look can be followed here as well. And if you haven't watched that video, I will link it up here. Finishing off with some setting spray and then I'm going to go on top of that with some highlight. I really like how a highlight pops on top of the setting spray. I am fully aware this is not a very practical look, but as I said, sometimes I like to play around with colors and I do get carried away. That's it you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and thank you for watching till the end. Bye guys.